Hey, this is Trey, back with you with our Organic 1112. I've got a great uh, antioxidant uh, memory boosting shot for you uh, that I'd like to share, that I'd like to make with you today, which I'm going to be adding to a tea instead of taking it in a shot glass. I'm just going to add it to tea because it's going to be a lot of it. All right, so let's go. Um, okay. Uh, there's the tea I made earlier today. Uh, used just a little yerba mate, uh, probably 20, probably 15% yerba mate, 50% Tulsi or holy basil, and then a mix. The other 40, the other 35% would be a green mix of like thyme, dill, stinging nettle, and uh, maybe a couple other green herbs, a little bit of oregano, maybe a little bit of sage. So this tea is uh, ready to go. It's at room temperature. Um, so what I'm going to do is this is just the plain tea strain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to the ingredients you see here. Now I just cut these off on my rosemary plant uh, just a few moments ago. I counted them. It's about 45, give or take a few. So I'm going to juice this and this amount of ginger. I'm going to peel it and chop it up into pieces that'll fit in the. Uh, the gear, gear juicer there and then I've got three lemons so this is gonna make a concentrated shot that you could basically divide this up into shot glasses and um, wow boy that would be a nice uh, uh, sort of like medicinal effect with this uh, the memory the rosemary is amazing amazing beneficial properties uh, ginger these these are these are uh, some awesome uh, ingredients here for this um, okay, so let me get started prepping and I'll get back with you. Working on the ginger. It's going to be a nice one. This tea is going to be souped up. And there's my Sole, Star, Sole Salt, liquid Himalayan salt with the spring water. Uh, this is my favorite way to use salt. I can add it to, it just makes it a lot better in my opinion. Um, so this is my master batch and I'll pour off of this. All you have to do is add spring water, wait 24 hours and it's back to this salinity uh, concentration for the solution. Uh, uh, search Sole Salt, S-O-L-E-S-A-L-T. Um, you can find these big Himalayan chunks uh, only at a couple of places. I think only one that I know of. There's my Sole Salt that I got rolling. Spring water in the pink Himalayan chunks. Working along here, I've got the ginger cut up into segments, uh, trimmed the rough parts off the edges, and peeled it. So that's a nice portion of ginger there. That, that's a good bit. That's all of that just with the peeled and you know all the bad rough parts cut off. This rosemary. So working on that. And uh, over here, I have the lemons. I just washed those really good. I'm going to dry those off, scrubbing them, and then I'm going to chop those up. Put them in this bowl, and then we'll be ready to juice our shooter. There's some uh, soaked almonds that they got about five more hours to go, and I'll have then they'll air dry for 24. Some organic raw almonds. Be able to use those in some raw food recipes. I'll rinse them real well, and then we'll uh, let them air dry to sprout. Okay, uh, let's keep going with the lemons. Okay, I've got everything prepped, ready to make this supercharged tonic to add to this wonderful tea. All right, so um, let me show you what I got here. Um, okay, there's where I peeled the ginger. That's all, all my scraps from processing the lemon and the ginger. I cut off any bad spots on the lemon. I try to leave as much... Uh, uh, of the peel as possible for the uh, uh, for the um, essential oils, All right? So there's the ginger, nice portion of ginger. I think I showed that earlier. And then there's the three lemons, and then there's the approximate 45 quantity sprigs of fresh cut rosemary. Gets nothing but rain water. A little compost tea every now and then. Uh, awesome. It's doing great. All right, so I'm going to juice all of this. We're going to make our supercharged tonic. Let me get started. I'm going to start. I'm going to move this scrap tray out of the way. 
And let's roll. Always start with women. Now, I've got the wood plunger here that comes with the Green Star Elite. I just like this better than the plastic one that comes with it. Uh, I just think it does better. It's, it's faster to me and safer. So, I'd right, always start with women. Sort of like primes it. And um, that means lemon preserves. So, it's best to go ahead and start that. Throw a piece of ginger. Let's go fast. All right, so now it's some rosemary. I put about two sprigs in at a time. There's two and three. So that's about close to ten. I put the soft tip down first. These are little ones, so I can just do three. Uh, this looks like a lot of rosemary, but it doesn't make much juice. But what it does make is very, very concentrated, strong, and highly aromatic and flavorful. <laughs> right, so I'm going to just add lemon, ginger. This isn't going to take long. I've got more of the lemon than anything. The rosemary is fast. We should start to see it. Oh, I am starting to see a darker green color on the, uh, the juice there in the craft. I'm going to go with some more of this. Rosemary. It just rained the last two days, so this the sun came out a little bit overcast, but at least dried things up. This rosemary is really taking off. So is the magnolia tree. Um, doing great. Um, all right, so you can see the green pulp coming out of there. Um, and um, once once I get done here, I'll show you the. Um, let's see how green the, the shooter turns out. The super juice. I'll make a super tea with some super shooter. <laughs> nice big chunk of ginger. Already done. The majority of the rosemary and the ginger. So let me go uh, get a few of these lemons back to that. This actually even, I mean, this juicer will press the, like I was saying on the citrus here. Typically just only the lemons, the other the citrus peels are a little bit too caustic, but the lemon peel is fine. It's got nice essential oils in there. Um, and also the seeds, it will help, this juicer will crush and, and juice any uh, essential oils that are in the seeds. So same thing with apples, don't, don't, don't get organic for everything that you can, but don't, don't toss the seeds because that's the nutrient part. A lot of valuable nutritionals in there. All right, so see, this is going fast. This, like I say, this is a shooter. I'm not making a green juice. I'm not making a vegetable or a fruit juice. This is a tonic shot. It's going to turn that tea into a super tea. Now you could drink this. You could drink this. Uh, you could drink this by itself, like I say, and pour it into like. Uh, got some solely salt residue in, in there because I usually hold my dropper in there but you know a shot glass like that you can line those up and you know you had your friends or whoever together you all can take shots and uh, what an experience you could actually put a little pinch of cayenne high power cayenne in there if you really wanted to start supercharge it all right, so let's get this rosemary knocked out I've got Got one piece of ginger and then one piece of lemon remaining. So ginger, last the rosemary, the ginger's in. And you're gonna see it's not gonna make that much juice. Let's say this is a concentrated type. Now this could uh, this could be strained. As a matter of fact, that's what I might well. This is gonna have a little foam, and usually most juices do. I could strain it through that. But let's see what we like. I'm gonna let that run a little bit and uh, make sure it's. I don't want to pull that crap yet because since this is such a small volume juice and concentrated, I don't want to waste anything. Uh, waste any of those drops. It's still going. So uh, give it a few more seconds. 
turn that off. And ordinarily, I'd let it sit there a few more seconds just to make sure any do that. All right, so that should be good. That's good enough. But that made a pretty good quantity. That's over a cup. Um, I'll tell you what, I could measure it. But you see how that's a little foamy? Well, the viscosity of the tea is going to help break that down a little bit. So I'm not worried about straining it with this. It doesn't bother me. Um, so let's let me see here. Okay, I've got a two cup right here. So let's see what this one measures out at. That's a nice lime green, a pretty picturesque lime green. Oh wow, that is that's nice, a lime green there. All right, so it's uh, let's see here, one and a half cups exactly. The rosemary, lemon ginger. Shooter, super shooter. Okay, I do want to sample. This is just has a little bit of salt crystals, but I'm gonna just knock those out. Um, okay, I'm gonna get a bamboo skewer to stir that up. Just so make sure everything's equally distributed in there. It's got a, kind of a, a little bit thicker viscosity than um, than, a, than a, you know a typical green juice or vegetable juice that you process on the on the, on the starter. So I'm gonna pour a shot. Oh man! Now see the rest of this is gonna go in there. I'm gonna pour out a little bit of the tea in a glass, pour this in, and then top that glass off with uh, the mixture once it's done. All right, so here it goes. Cheers. No cayenne. That's got such a clean, crisp, enlightening, refreshing taste. Very pleased. Okay, so I'm going to pour just a little bit of this off, a little bit of the tea off in, in this drawer I'm going to be drinking out of. That should be enough. And so now that will give room for all of this. So this tea is now a fabulous, fabulous super tea. I'll just... Uh, now I know that I got a little more room, and I'll leave. Oh, that's that worked perfectly. All right. So see. All right. So now I'm gonna just just sort of give this a little gentle shake. Perfect. Man, this stuff is great. <laughs> wow. Talk about an ex palate explosion. That rosemary, lemon and ginger. That is. Amazing. So I'm going to pour this basically three quarters full. I'll put this in the fridge. Well, I don't want to leave it at room temperature with all that stuff. Keep that rosemary preserved. Right, so now what I'll do is I got my tea, my super tea with the shooter concentrate. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to spruce that up just one thing. I don't want to have any turmeric this go round because uh, I don't want too much stuff. Simpler you make recipes, well, no matter what it is, usually the better. The body processes it on every in every system. So what I got here is some high power cayenne. It's a 75,000 Scoville unit or a heat unit. So I'm putting a quarter, a heaping quarter teaspoon in there now of that. And so now, I'm going to shake that up a little bit before I put the water. I can put room temperature, that probably be a little bit better. All right, so now I'm going to just dilute all of that master super tea solution that we just made in our refrigerator. 
So now this is the sort of strength I would drink this at. So it's sort of down, it's sort of like a watered down version of a shot of that, but that citrus is gonna help assimilate these antioxidants and medicinals in the tea, so you'll be better, be better way better to uptake them in the GI tract. That's one of the best teas I've ever made. It's the first time I've tried this with adding this tonic. Ordinarily, it would just be shooters, but it's so concentrated, it, and with the cayenne, it's amazing. It's Trey, Organic 1112. Until next time, see you then. Bye for now. Thank you.